Hey guys, Sigmund here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 and iOS 6.9.1 and any other firmware with Snowbreeze. So guys, first off, let's go into insanelyOS.com and get our jailbreak. So all you have to do is go into the jailbreaks download section, and we're going to need to get Snowbreeze. So just scroll down, and here is the Snowbreeze logo and get the latest version of Snowbreeze, that is 2.9.7 for me. It may be a different one for you, so just download this. And while that's downloading, head over into the firmware section and get the firmware for your particular device. So if you are on 6.0.1, if you have an iPod Touch 4G like me, I would go down here and get this firmware file because my iPod Touch 4G is running iOS 6.0.1 and click on that. Okay, now once it is finished downloading, you can go into the folder where both Snowbreeze and your firmware file have downloaded to. And we can extract Snowbreeze right here. And there we go. There's our Snowbreeze. Let's open this up. So go into Properties and we need to make sure it's running in Windows XP Service Pack 3 compatibility mode and running as an administrator. Hit OK. And now we can run Snowbreeze. Hit OK. Hit Next. And we can browse for an IPSW file. Go into the folder where you have your IPSW file and double click it. Hit the arrow. And we can go into simple mode. We also have expert mode and iFaith mode. Expert mode, you can do a bunch of cool stuff like custom boot logos, custom packages, unlocks, and all that good stuff. But we're just going to do the simple mode, and there we go. So what it's doing here is patching an IPSW. It's making a custom IPSW so we can restore through that with iTunes, and then we will be jailbroken. So this takes a while, so if you are an impatient person, you can go ahead and play Pac-Man. But I'm just going to let it go right here, and I will sit back and relax and we will come back when it is done. Okay, now that we have created the IPSW file, we're going to need to prepare your device for restoring to that file, so we can then be jailbroken. So I'll just guide you through this. It's just putting your device into DFU mode. So let's first start off by turning off your device. All you have to do is hold the power button down for about 10 seconds until this appears. And then you can just slide it like that. And now we can put your device into DFU mode. So now we need to press the home and power button down. There we go. Three, two, one, bam. And keep holding the home button down until it goes into DFU mode. And there we go, we are now in a porn DFU state, and we can restore through iTunes with this hacked IPSW now. Hit OK, and we can close out of Snowbreeze. Now that's all done, all we have to do is go into iTunes and restore your device. OK, now we're in iTunes, you have to hold the shift key on your keyboard, and click restore at the same time. And we need to go into the folder where your firmware file is. And as you can see, here is the custom firmware file. The Snowbreeze iPod Touch file right here. It should say Snowbreeze in the title. That's the one Snowbreeze has created. And we need to restore that. And we will have Cydia on our device once we have done that. It's that simple. So all you have to do is restore. And just let that finish. Now this does take a long time, so you might want to go ahead and do something else while your device is going through the restore. And of course, if you don't want to restore your device, you can use Red Snow, for which I have a lot of guides for. 
If you want a link to that, there's a link in the description below. Okay, now that's done, we can go ahead and go into the desktop, where you can find iBooty, this little folder that Snowbreeze has created. Now, this is the thing that allows us to tether bit our device so we can be jailbroken. And because it is a tethered jailbreak on iOS 6.0.1, at the moment, you will have to do this every time you either lose power or you power off your device. So, let's run iBooty. And just select your device. And now we can start. Okay, now we have to put your device in DFU mode. So hold the power button down for 3 seconds, and then hold the home button down while you are still holding down the power button. And then release the power button, and keep holding down the home button. Until it is recognized. And there we go. And it's finishing the booting process. And there we go. The rest of the process happens on your device. And after it's all done, you will be jailbroken. You will see Cydia on your device. So let's just wait for this to go. And there we go, we're all booted up, I'll just go and run through the setup process, and once it's done, we can go ahead into the device. And there we go, we are now in our device, and as you can see, City is on the home screen. Just go into that, and as you can see, City is working perfectly. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video, and if you want any more on jailbreak tutorials, I upload them as soon as they're released, as soon as new jailbreaks are released, and I have a bunch of videos on tweaks, and apps, and more. So anything you need to know about jailbreaking, just hit that subscribe button above. So and I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, that's all. Remember to check out my channel for everything iOS. Subscribe to be notified of more videos on jailbreaks, tweaks, tips, and reviews. Add to your favorites if you love the video, and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment telling what you think I read all of them. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for fast updates. And of course, remember to check out insanlyos.com for iOS news, guides, and downloads. All links are below. Thank you, this is Sigmund from Insanlyos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>